My name is Dave McGuire. I work for the City of Wichita, the Park and Recreation Department. And so, welcome this morning to our uh, ribbon cutting um, event for the new uh, off road bike trail. You know, parks being developed like this into uh, kind of a unique type of a park wouldn't happen if we. Uh, if we didn't have the help from folks like you guys and, and from the Single Track Society that uh, comes in here and does all the work, because I know there's been a lot of hard work uh, put into it. So uh, at this time, I'm going to turn it over to uh, our president of our park board, uh, Brian, and we're going to let him uh, say a few words. This, this park edition improvement uh, signifies an important milestone in uh, the park recreation open space plan. A few years ago, we, we launched a, an initiative to lay out a 20-year uh, plan for park recreation and open spaces. And one of the highlights that came out of that was our citizens wanted uh, more, more hiking opportunities, more biking opportunities, more trails. So to, for the Kansas Single Track Society to identify this parcel of land, put in the time, the work, the effort, to make this a reality, uh, congratulations. Uh, the citizens of Wichita are going to thank you once they get out here and see it and get to ride it. Um, it's a great improvement. It's that public-private partnership that we need as a Board of Park Commissioners to be successful in uh, times like these. So the Board of Park Commissioners, we can't thank the Kansas Single Track Society, Lee Engler, and all the volunteers that helped pull this off and make this a reality. So thank you. Um, now I'd like to introduce uh, Jeff Lubaugh, uh, City Council Representative for District 4. Well, thank you very much, Brian. Um, I I'm very excited for this opportunity we have here in this area. And as I look behind me at the map, and I'm a little bit geographically challenged myself, I'm wondering at what point if we get lost in here, we can call out the National Guard and they'll come out and <laughs> hopefully find us within that 10 acres. And I'm, I'm glad to see there's something specifically that the mountain bikers will be able to utilize and, and hopefully this won't be the last one of these. Hopefully, you know, as the enthusiasm grows, more and more people look to it, we can, we can um, continue to have these to where they're all over town. I said I'd like to introduce the president of the Single Track Society, Jerry Jones. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you everybody for coming out today. You know, mountain biking is a real popular activity now. It's great for exercise, it's a family activity. It uh, gets you out in nature, and, and it's also a sport. It's great that now uh, we've got a trail in the city of Wichita, in southwest Wichita, where people can come down Kellogg, jump off, park in this parking lot, and, and ride in the city park. I just think that is so cool. What I want to really say is that although our society has uh, uh, a lot of members that do a lot of hard work, uh, it oftentimes boils down to an individual who spearheads these projects and uh, takes the initiative uh, to, to get it going. In this case, it was Lee Angler with Lee's Bike Shop. Uh, Lee saw the opportunity, he approached the city, he approached the Kansas Single Track Society to see if we would get involved and help build this trail and maintain it. He went to the city, got permission to uh, use this park and, and I think, uh, I hopefully I, I don't offend the park people when I say there, there wasn't much of a park here uh, <laughs> until these guys got hold of it and, and really carved this trail out of this uh, tangle of brush and, and, um, and rubble. So. This, is, this is wonderful. Not only is this something that has been just for this last year and a half, and we started this about a year and a half ago. But this has been something that I have seen has been needed 30 years. A lot of hours have been put into this. We tallied it up, and it's over 400 of hours by 50 individuals over five work days. So we've got a lot of people to thank. I can't do it all. I've got a list of them, but I can't do it all. But I want to take the time to do a lot. First, we've got city council members. Jeff, thank you for coming, really appreciate it. At the time that we were opening up the park, Paul Gray was the council member at that time, and he helped and supported us on that. Board of Park Commissioners, 
Brian Fry has been a great support through this whole thing, as has, um, at the time, I think he still is, Matt Gulfby, is he still in? No, he's not. He's, he's not. not. Okay. At that time, Matt was a big supporter of this park. So I'm going to thank Doug Cupper, our Parks and, Rec Direct, Parks and Recreation Director, uh, Larry Hootmer, Landscape Architect, Warren McCoskey, which is Project Manager, Dave. Yep. Thank you very much for Forestry. Steve Allen, which is out on the site doing work, and his crews helped us tremendously. The sign that's up there at the very front got in two days ago. Isn't that cool? This is a legit park now. Awesome. And then stormwater management, Doug, uh, Scott Lindeback. And Scott Lindeback said, that's ours. We'll take care of that for you. And they did all that in one week. And so they just went after it. And the crews were wonderful to work with. Bike Walk Wichita, Barry Carroll, this gentleman right here, Oz Bicycle Club, they've supported us tremendously, as has all the other people in the bicycle community. Oh, the law office of uh, Martin Pringle, Oliver Wallace, and Bauer. Sounds like a law firm, right? <laughs> But Richard Stevens really helped us make a great agreement with the city of Wichita. Volvo Rents, with, which allowed us to use some of their equipment, and then Fast Signs, read the rules, follow them, be safe, and uh, look at the direction signs too. Volunteers, my gosh, this is what made it. This is, this is a little army, and I'm not joking on this. Started out with Kansas Single Track Society. Jerry Jones, president. Chris Walker, my my co uh, steward of this trail. Terry Plennert, Marty Desmarteau, uh, Jerry Spalding, Lonnie Cooper, Bobby Smith. The list goes on and on and on. We've got two guys that have really done a lot of work out here. They're here today. When you see them shake their hands, you'll notice how callous they are. <laughs> they have been doing a bunch of work out here. And it's Jason Becker down on the ground, and then Andy Cram, this guy right here with the camera. They have, I'm going to call them the trail masters because they've spent more time out here than me, or Chris, or anybody else and they've really done a great job. They go after it, it's in their heart. And so I really appreciate that. Like I mentioned, the other 50 people too, fabulous. Now, it's time to write it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Yep. All right. Wait. One, two, three, go! <laughs> <laughs> Be safe! No hesitation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this, this is great. Yeah, I have to carry mine over.